Well, this is going to be my first unboxing and review video here on the channel. Hello and welcome back to the Catholic Era YouTube channel where we talk about Catholic news, tradition, the traditional Latin Mass, the Holy Rosary, um, news from the Vatican, news from around the world, stuff of that nature. And for today's video, it's, we're starting a little something. I'm starting a little something new here on the channel, and we're going. To, I'm going to be doing a unboxing. So, if you couldn't tell by the title of the video, um, I am going to be unboxing the the um, Father Lassant's new Roman Missal, which is the which is a 1945 traditional Latin Mass Missal. Um, if you haven't heard me talk on the channel already from any previous videos, um, I already ha I do have the the Angelus Press um, 1962 Missal. Um, this is a daily Missal as well, um, and I've been, I've used this for the times I've attended the Latin Mass, but I can. I'm adding to my collection of traditional Catholic items. So, without further ado, we're going to get right into the unboxing. Um, so I got the so I got it from a awesome Catholic website, which is associated with the Canons Regular of Saint John Cantius, which is a um, traditional Catholic community based in Chicago. And um, their their um, goal is to restore the sacred um, tradition, stuff like that. Um, and um, so they have a they have a they have a wing where they sell books and um, vestments and um, holy sacred vessels like chalices and um, ciboriums um, and all kinds of cool stuff. So so um, in the order I got the Father Lassant's missile, which will be the primary unboxing and review. Um, I also got a Saint Benedict's rosary. And as well as a holy water bottle. I already have a holy water bottle and rosaries, obviously, but just something to add to the collection. Um, so without further ado, um, I have this fancy little overhead camera here. So here we have the package right here, and um, as you can see, I've already opened it already, just so I, just to make sure everything that's supposed to be in it was in it. Um, and uh, so we'll start uh, with the review here now. So. Um, so first impressions, um, the, bo the box is pretty plain, but the pa it's packaged real nice. There was other packing in here, as well as a order form. I took that stuff out though, um, just so that we could get right to the unboxing. Um, so here we have the Father Lassant's missile. So this is the missile. Um, it's still in its um, in its shrink wrap. So we'll be we'll be unboxing this. Here is the beautiful rosary. Um, right here, and here is the holy holy water bottle in this white box. So, so um, we'll start with the small stuff first, and then we'll make our way up to the bigger items. So we'll start with the holy water bottle. So it's just a simple little um, steel holy water bottle. Um, and it just says holy water on it and has a little cross on it. It looks like stainless steel. Um, it does say stainless steel on the bottom of it. Um, just has a nice little screw top. And it's rather small compared to um, the other holy water bottle I have, which is actually filled. Um, they're rather small, but this can be used for travel and and stuff like that. So I so I'll take the I can use this for travel. I have to fill it up, obviously. Next time I'm at church or next time I'm at mass, I will fill this up. So um, it's just a nice little simple bottle, little little um, screw top, and you put the holy water in it and use it whenever you need it for travel or um, blessing things with holy water, sprinkling things with holy water. And it's a nice little nice little bottle, so it can easily fit in your pocket and um, just that extra sense of um, spiritual weapon. Um, as you know, holy water is a weapon against um, the de against the devil, against the fallen angels, the demons, um, and um, it um, 
it chases away evil spirits and um, the devil as well as demons and stuff like that. So this is the first unboxing, the first item. So I'll set that off at the side. Next item we have here, we have the beautiful um, St. Benedict's Rosary. Um, this was made in Italy, and it says it's ham, ham, hamatite, ham, hamtite. It's six millimeters, six millimeter beads, I think. And it was it says it's made in Italy, so um, this is this is a beautiful rosary. Um, so on the website, it, on the website, it appeared that if it was like a if the beads were just plastic. And then I, I, I got surprised when I opened it and saw that it was it was a nice nice marble or not marble but but a nice metal style. It seems to be as if it's like a not a crystal but more of like a um, precious metal. Not exactly sure what type. I'd have to do research on it. But it is a Saint Benedict's um, rosary. It has the Saint Benedict's crucifix on it. So you have the you have the normal crucifix, um, and then in the middle, above Jesus' head, you see the St. Benedict's medal, um, and St. Benedict was a great exorcist, um, and so that, that medal, I will eventually make a video on the St. Benedict's uh, medal, um, but it has, um, I think it's, a, I believe it's an exorcism prayer, um, it says on it, and I'll I'll make a video on it. Um, and then you have the rest of the medal on the back. I actually have the Saint Benedict's. Um, I actually have the Saint Benedict's medal here on my on my necklace here, um, right there. You can't really see it, but um, it's kind of faded from from wearing it so much. Um, and for the and for the um, our fathers. Um, and the centerpiece as well. You have, for the centerpiece you have a larger Saint Benedict's medal, um, and then and then for your Our Father beads, um, for your Our Fathers, um, you have little miniature Saint Benedict medals. Um, and it's a it's a beautiful rosary. It's pretty heavy. It seems to be a pretty heavy duty sturdy um, rosary and um, I think this might become my new um, rosary I do already have a couple rosaries um, but this will be used for this will be used on s special occasions like Easter and Christmas and um, high feasts of that stuff so so um and uh, I think I might be making a video, I'll be making a video pretty soon probably, um, recently about an article made by a um, news outlet in here in, the, in America um, about, a, about the rosary being a weapon of um, far-right people. And so I'll eventually, I'll make a video on that, debunking that eventually. And um, so yeah, so... So we'll start with the, um, we'll start, we'll, uh, we'll unbox the Father Lassance missile here. And this is my, this will be my first impression. Um, I have seen videos and stuff like that, but this will be my first official impression. So, um, I don't have a knife, but I, I'll use this pencil to unbox it. Um, so it's just in a nice little shrink wrap to keep it safe from pack, from shipping. I will say I made the mistake, and if you do, if you do decide to order the, order any anything online, not just, not just um, this missile, obviously, um, I always would recommend ordering on a on a Monday, um, because I made the mistake when ordering this this package, of ordering it on a, um, ordering it a or. Um, ordering it on a Friday and the next day the company was closed so I had to wait a whole week and today is Thursday of the following week so I've been waiting a while for this and I'm so excited for it to 
the stuff to finally be here. Um, so the missile, so um, the missile is it seems to be a sturdy, nice. I I don't I don't believe this is real leather, um, but it seems to be imitation leather. Um, it has a nice feel, fits pretty nice in the hand. Um, it's rather small compared. It's a little bit bigger actually than the 19. It's a little bit bigger in height than the 1962 missile, about the same size. Um, and it's also a lot thicker, as you can tell. Um, so um, I'll eventually make a comparison of them, and I'll make a recommendation after I've used this missile a couple times. Um, but so it seems to be a pretty nice leather, or imi at least imitation leather. Um, exterior cover and um, you have a nice binding it says right on the side there the new Roman Missile by Father Lassance and um, so I'll uh, so I'll start um, so it has six ribbons um, so the ribbons are actually the colors of the liturgical seasons um, however that's not how you are supposed to use the ribbons um, it has a nice gilding on the edge. I know it'll probably eventually wear off after a bunch of use and after I've, I've, um, with the ribbons. But um, so we'll start. It has a has a pretty nice smell to it, which is a weird thing to be reviewing. But if you if you get a nice missile, you want it to smell nice because you know that it it's high quality. It's made really nice, and um, it will be a sturdy sturdy book for you so so um it seems to be pretty tightly binded um which i'm not too big of a fan of but that's that will eventually go away so it has a nice little cover here now compared to the angelus press missile the angelus press missile does have a leather um a leather cover um but or a leather um end sheet but um not too much of a deal um so you have so it's pretty nice um so I'll just start from the beginning I'll eventually write some of my personal information in here so in case it gets lost so it says the new Roman missile the new Roman missile again and then here you have the New Roman Missal in Latin and English, which is important, by Reverend Father by Reverend Father Xavier Lassance, um, the author of my prayer book. It has a pretty nice cover, and we have a prayer. It's in the beginning. It says, "We adore Thee, Most Holy Je Lord Jesus Christ, here and in all Thy churches throughout the world, and we bless Thee because by Thy holy cross Thou hast redeemed the world." That is an indulgence of indulgence of seven years if this act of adoration is said on one's knees upon entering or leaving a church so it's it here we have pretty nice cover page um, and then you have your um, different reviews by um, different archbishops and um, prelates um, this obviously isn't for this obviously isn't um, recent bishops I don't think but um, so you have a ton of bishops from around the United States and um, so so this looks pretty nice um, you have an editor's preface I'd assume this is by Father Lassance I think and so um, so this is a pretty nice sturdy looking book um, you have a nice little introduction written by Father Lassance. Um, different parts of the Mass. An introduction to the Missal. Alright, so it seems my camera doesn't want to focus. but So, um... Oh, skipping too far ahead. So here in the beginning, um... You have a nice little section. You have some beautiful pictures. Beautiful, beautiful pictures. Um... Different things explaining the altar. Here you have a nice picture of the altar in detail. So um, 
So as I was saying before I was interrupted by having to fix my camera, um, which is still blurry, but um, so you have a nice little you nice have a nice little description explaining things. You have the different parts of the mass, different different stuff like that. And I'll be a nice little nice little guide for the lay people, the lay person like me. And um, so you have different parts um, explaining the propers of the mass, the propers of the saints, votive masses. Here's some beautiful pictures, or here's some a nice description explaining the the different vestments of the mass, the vestments used at the holy sacrifice of the mass. Um, some beautiful pictures. Um, some nice um, descriptions of the different vestments. Then you have the vestments for the solemn high mass of the deacon, the cope, which is used by the priest for non-liturgical functions or non-mass uh, uh, functions outside of mass. Um, you have the humeral veil. Then you also have the colors of the vestments. Um, different parts explaining the parts of the mass, the high mass, the low mass, ferial and requiem masses, and then we have, um, here we have an awesome guide um, explaining when to kneel, stand, or sit at a lower high mass. Um, which will be Help, which is helpful. I'm not exactly sure if there's one for non-requiem masses. Um, but we have a nice little section at the beginning of the book. And then we get into the Sundays of Advent here. So um, we have we have the the propers of the season, so the propers of the Sundays. Um, and then different parts of the holy um, different parts of the um, seasons. And I have to take my ri the ribbons out. The ribbons are stuck. So, um, so you have your different parts of the mass. Right now, we're in. E this is we're not in Easter right now, but this is the Easter um, after Easter that we are looking at, and then here we have the ordinary of the mass. So if you don't know what the ordinary of the mass is, that is the um, that is the the parts of the mass that are unchanging. So um, for example the the canon of the mass, the Te Igitor. Um, and this is the so this is just the start and this is the parts of the mass. Um, so you have the ordinary mass, the creed, just different parts flipping through, and the the ordinary of the mass is on heavier paper than the than the um, propers of the feasts, which is which is kind of which is a benefit. Um, um, and that will be awesome. Currently I am taking the ribbons out. I should have done that before I started recording. And um, so overall, um, it is a really nice um, book. Um, so we got nice in the back of the book, we have 
different things. We have um, there's a prayer section in here, I believe. Um, the Ecclesiastical Times, Glossary of Liturgical Terms, which is helpful. Um, you have um, accounts of the lot of the feasts and lives of saints. You have a ton of saints in here. For example, today is August the 18th. Um, We will go to August the 18th. For so today is the 18th. Saint Appa Appa Saint Aga Abba Pituis, a martyr. The Roman martyrology commemorates today Aga Agapitius who at the age of 15 was put to death with a sword at Prenesti in Italy. His tomb was recently has recently been found with the inscription Api, A, Ag, Agapitus, pray for me. His body was transferred to Cornetto in 1437. Cool. Um, and that, so this is just really a beautiful... Um, book. Um, I'm trying to find the the prayer section here. Um, that might be after here. So yeah, you have your general devotions. Um, here's a here's a nice calendar. Um, you have the different descriptions. Um, the calendar of feast days. Um, November, you have October, so you have your morning prayers, you, your different acts of um, devotion, you act, your act of faith, your act of hope, act of charity, act of contrition, your necessary prayers to so your Lord, to so the Our Father, the Hail Mary, the Apostles' Creed. The evening prayers, prayer before Jesus crucified, and uh, different feasts, some notes section in the back for different things, and um, so yeah, so um, this is a beautiful missile, it has beautiful pictures in it. Um, the only, the only major downside that I, that I have come across in the missile is the, um, is the tightness of the pages. Um, it's very, it's very, um, for example, it's very tight and it's, um, and if I want to just set it down, it kind of, kind of just like closes on itself. Um, but that's only a minor thing. Um, but as for, as for the build quality, this seems to be a high, high, heavy duty missile here. Um, the ribbons are beautiful. Um, I will have to tie knots on the ribbons just so that to prevent fraying and stuff like that. And, um, and so eventually I will make a video talking about um, um, comparing comparing this missile, the, the Father of Lassance, to the Angelus Press missile. Um, the, major, the major difference between these two missiles is that the Holy Week is different. So in the 1962 missile, you have the, the pre-55, pre-re- or post-reform Holy Week, which is um, not as sacred and solemn as the as the pre-55 Holy Week, and um, 
So it's a little bit different. That's that. And the other major difference is the name of St. Joseph is in the canon of the Mass in the 1962 Missal. However, his name is not mentioned in the pre-55 Missal, the pre-Reformation, the, pre, the pre-Latin Mass Reformation uh, Missal. Um, so that's the only major differences. Um, as for quality, they're both high quality. Um, they are both um, made of either real leather or imitation leather, um, which is great. Um, one of the other major differences is that, in the build quality, anyways, is that this missile um, comes with six. This missile comes with six ribbons, whereas the um, the 1962 Angelus Press missile only has five, um, which isn't too big of a deal, but um, it, it is kind of nice to have that extra ribbon for for extra things like prayers and stuff like that. So, um, so I will get these set, and um, so uh, yeah. So this is this has been my review of the Father Lassance 1962 um, or the 19 the Father Lassance 1955. Um, traditional Latin Mass missile. Um, the bo- both of the missiles are great. Both build high quality. Um, both get both both help you um, in the Latin Mass. And um, so, eventually, I'll do a further review of the um, of the differences and the um, stuff like that within the two missiles. I'll do a I'll do a comparison of both. Um, with the different things, the pros and cons of each, and um, stuff like that. So, this has been my review of the Father Lassance missile. Um, I highly recommend picking up a traditional Catholic missile, whether that be the Father Lassance missile or a 1962 missile. Um, either one works, um, except maybe for the Holy Week, which is it will be different, depending on where you're attending Mass at. So, um, and I'll eventually will do a, um, a singular review of the Roman Catholic Daily Missal by Angelus Press, which the Angelus Press is a is the publication wing of the SSPX. And I have talked about the SSPX a lot here, a decent a bit on the channel. Um, but um, so yeah, so both missiles are both good quality and will help me a lot at the Latin Mass. So. Um, so this has been my unboxing of um, a few items from Beretta Books, which, as I mentioned in the beginning, is the publication company um, associated with the Canons Regular of St. John Cantius. And I will post some more. I will link some articles down below um, about the, the Canons Regular as well as Beretta Books. And I will also link all three products that I um, reviewed today in the, in the um, description box below. Um, so as always, thank you guys for watching. Before we conclude, I forgot to, in the beginning, um, we will pray. So we will pray the, we will pray the Our Father, the Hail Mary, and the Glory Be, just because I forgot about the, uh, the Our Father in the beginning. So we will begin. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Pater Noster, qui es in celis, sanctificetur nomen Tuam, adveniat regnum Tuam, fiat voluntas Tua, Sicut in cielo et in terra. Panem nostrum quotidianum de nobis hodie, et dimiti nobis debita nostra, sicut et nos dimitimus debitoribus nostris, et ne nos inducas in tentationem, sed libera nos a malo. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus decum, Benedicta tua mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tuis, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spedi tui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in saecula saeculorum. Amen. O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. In nomine Patris, et Filii, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. 
Well, I thank you guys so much for joining me today on this review of um, of a couple new items I got, the holy water bottle, the rosary, as well as the Father Lassance, um, um traditional Latin mass missile. So, um, so as always, I thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel um, if you haven't already. Um, please consider liking the video if you enjoyed. If you learned something from this video, if this if this helped you choose a um, traditional Latin mass missile for yourself, and um, as well as um, whether this if this helped you um, with the traditional Latin mass and the missile. So. Um, also, please leave a comment down below if you uh, about um, um, about anything that you it was stuff that you liked about the video and the missile and stuff like that. So, um, and also consider hitting that notification bell so you get notified every time I post, um, upload a video, as well as possibly go live, um, do live streams here in the future. Um, so as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, as always, God bless and Godspeed.